Good morning guys, I only have 10 minutes to show you how I make a, a PDF drawing at anything. First of all, what I'm using to record the video is this software here. It's called Microsoft Expression Encoder for Screen Capture. You could download it for free on Microsoft. Uh, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to find out how we could edit a software. First of all, you have to install the software in your computer. It's called Fox. Sit Phantom PDF. Go to foxit.com, download the free version, install it on your computer, make sure you select the free file. Once you install the software, it's going to appear on your icon. So once the uh, PDF is installed, the PDF writer is installed on your computer, what you want to do is you want to open a file. I'm going to open this particular PDF file that I have, and I'm going to show you guys how I created some of these lines. Uh, first of all, to edit anything, what you want to do is you want to always go to Common, put your mouse on top, left click it. Uh, here, you could write any note by using typewriter, and these symbols over here, you could use to draw anything. For instance, you could draw a rectangle, oval, polygon, a line, an arrow, a cloud. And the most versatile one is this one, a polygon. Uh, I'm saying it's the most versatile because as an electrical engineer, we're always connecting different devices. So I'm going to show you how to use polygon. So again, you go to common, you click on polygon, then you go to the screen. So let's say I want to connect this device, this device, and this device together. What you do is you go to common, you select polygon, it's, uh, there's a little art to it so uh, okay once you see a little cross you put a little cross where you want to start what you want to do is you want to click the left button first before when you start drawing so you click the left button you hold the left button down and you scroll as you're scrolling you're making a line when you want to change direction you let go of the left mouse so right now I'm going to let go and then I'm going to click down again. That's telling the computer I'm going to change direction. So I change direction here, so I'm still holding the left mouse. Now I'm going to let go again because I want to change direction. So I let go, and I press the left mouse down again. So let's say I'm connecting outlets. So this is the way you do it. You click down, you let go, and so forth. And when you're done, then you right-click, and you hit Complete Drawing. Now, after you complete the drawing, you can see it has little dots. You could still edit it. You could still move your cursor over here. And let's say you want to move this, you know, shape it up. This is not where I want it to go. So you can move it. Uh, after you move it and it looks the way you want it to look, what you want to do is you want to put it over again until it shows that little arrow. See the arrow? Once it's showing the arrow, you want to right click. It's going to go and show this screen. On this screen, you hit on Properties. So you left click on Property. Now you could change the way that uh, line looks. So right now, it's this color, purple, is dashed line. So let's say you want a solid line. You put a solid line. Let's say you want to make it red. So you click on the color, you make it red. Uh, the thickness goes from 1 to 12. So let's say you don't want to make it thickness 11. Let's say you want to make it thickness 4. So you select 4. If you want to make a lot of lines, that color, red, solid, you click on the set current properties as default. And every time you make that particular kind of line, will make it. If you're just going to make one, you don't click it. Uh, this, for the sake of this purpose, I'm going to click it so I can make more lines the same way. So once you hit close, you could see the line here made it really thin the way I want it and it put the color. So now if I want to make another one, I just go to the spot when I'm start, let's say here. I left click, hold down, move, let go of the mouse, click again, change direction, let go of the mouse, and it change direction, hold the mouse back down, and go. After you're done, you right click, and you complete. So that's the way you create these lines. Uh, now another important feature is with the same, let's say, comment. If you want to type, you go to typewriter, you set the cursor where you want, and you start, start typing away, let's say Carlos. I did that because I know how to spell it. 
uh, you know, after you spell it again, you could uh, you could hover over, put the arrow over. If you want to make it bigger, you select that A plus and you make it big. And you could select A minus and make it small. So that's the way to make notes on drawing. Another important feature, uh, again, on the comments, when you go to the comment, you can make anything. You can make a, a rectangle. Let me show you real quick how to make a rectangle. So again, you put the cursor where you want to start. Let's say here, you hold down the mouse, you move it to the end, and then you let go. Once you let go, it lets you edit. So you could put your cursor over these little dots, and you can move it, and you could stretch it to wherever you want. And then when you're done, you let it go, and you're done with that. Uh, another important uh, instrument that we have here, when you go to comment, you go to distance. This will give you the distance in any drawing. There's no need for you to scale anything. So when you see over here, it says that the scale is 1 inch to 19. I just custom made it because it was a weird drawing. The engineer thing uh, made it. Uh, in any particular scale. So let's say I want to measure from this line to that line. So I start at this line, I hold my mouse down, left mouse, hold it down, and I move to the right. As you see when I'm moving, the left and the square on the bottom is showing you the distance. Right now it shows you the angle at 179 and the distance 169 custom. Uh, So you made that distance, and it show you there exactly uh, the total distance that you made. So this is a really good. You can see there that the dimensions are really on a weird angle. So uh, you know you you don't want to do that. You want to make it into a straight line, but you know that's the way it came out too. Uh, you could also change the scale. You can convert it into regular scales. Uh, let's say if you just want to make a let's go back to the distance again let me show you so you go to coming you click on distance and you know you click away let's say from A to B uh, hold on a second see on top here where it says distance to I don't know if you guys see some red you want to click that distance tool when you click on the distance tool over here it tells you the scale one inch equals 19. So if you know that the architect made this drawing and it's 1 inch equals, let's say, 8 feet, so you put 8 and you put whatever, feet. So right now, 1 inch equals 8 feet. So now, when you make a note, when you make a, a, a measurement, let's say I'm going to measure from this line to this line, it's going to tell you, if you see on the left and the right, bottom side the distance so see it says zero zero angle zero x zero y zero watch it start moving as I move my cursor down you can see it moving look to your bottom right you can see it tells you how far so right now I'm 41 feet so right now when I drop it here it's telling you that that is 79.47 at an angle of 89 so if I want to make a 90 degree I just move it to the left there 90 that's a straight line line and bingo, I got a distance of 74.66 feet. And if you, see, oops, sorry, I moved this, so let's, I forgot to click on it. So that's the way you make a measurement. So now you know how to make measurement, you know how to make polygon, you know how to make square, you know how to edit, you know how to change the scale. So go ahead, guys, knock yourself out, have fun. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for listening.